What is up guys? I have here the TB6560 running some Neba 17s and I figure I was trying to figure out a whole lot of information on eBay to see what I wanted to buy so I figured I would share my experience with you guys so you can make educated buying decisions I suppose. Uh, so first off the wiring is pretty much as simple as it gets. Uh, the diagram that's included with everything. If you can see colors you can wire this up. I mean, it took me longer to make the box than it did for me to wire it up. Um, and it was pretty much working immediately. I haven't hooked it up to the computer yet because they don't actually have a computer that has a parallel port. So I'm working on that right now. But I'm very impressed with the instructions that I got with it. So this was actually on the disc. It came with everything. And there's just a ridiculous amount of paperwork here. And it even shows instructions for how to hook up your spindle through a relay or directly through the power supply, which was pretty sweet. I was really happy how the power supply, when I ran the voltage, it ended up being 12 volts, uh, which is rated for 12 to 36, I believe. So the voltage was exactly what we needed to run everything. I just wanted to test it before I hooked it up so I didn't fry everything. I'm kind of impressed because uh, it's a driver and controller, so it has all the individual drivers built into it, which has drawbacks because I'm sure you can't run as much current through it, so you have to run smaller motors, which leads to the other downfall. These are tiny, tiny, tiny motors. So I probably overbuilt my CNC machine for what we have here, but you know, at the very least, we're getting experience out of the deal. And you know what? It's kind of cool. I also really like the keypad and the display. It seems like I'm probably not running quite enough voltage because as soon as I hit these motors, you hear the fan slow down and then ramp back up uh, but overall um, I'm really impressed with how everything came to me right away I don't know if you're able to incorporate separate drivers if you are able to then you're able to run bigger motors uh, it's gonna be a whole lot more wiring but that's not that big of a deal um, and at the end of the day it's not hooked up to the computer yet so I don't know how it's gonna run but so far I really like this whole setup I think it's gonna make a really good machine at the very least, it's going to make a really good tabletop machine. I don't know how it's going to go in mine because I have kind of a big machine built for this. Anyway, I hope this helps.